Hi everybody, so this is the process video for the Captain Planet reboot-esque fan art that I um, have been working on for the past week or so. Um, and I didn't record all of the lines just because I wanted to get an idea of the layout first before recording anything. Um, and then I just kind of went overboard. Um, but, so, recently I've been thinking a lot about recycling and how it feels like the world is ending because of all this climate change stuff. Um, so I've been thinking a long, a while about how I can include a better message in like my art and stuff to promote recycling more and I haven't done anything related to that at all. Um, but I've been thinking about doing a series of it, but I guess just to kickstart everything, I decided to, uh, do a fan art for Captain Planet, which is a really old cartoon show that promoted, uh, the idea of treating the planet better and recycling and sustainability and all that jazz. Oh, reducing pollution, because that was a big thing in, like, the... 80s <laughs> but um yeah so recently i've been thinking like maybe we need a reboot of captain planet because i know when i was little i definitely was more motivated to recycle when <laughs> this show came out but i don't know like i think a lot of people haven't heard of this show which is surprising to me because it was on cartoon network um, but yeah, so basically with this fan art, I was just kind of, uh, trying to imagine, to, like, imagine what a potential reboot, um, into the current times would look like. Um, mostly adjusting the hairstyles of the characters because everybody in the old show had teased hair and uh, waves, I guess. But um, initially, when I thought about doing this uh, idea, I thought about making Captain Planet a female instead, because you know, when you talk about the Earth and um, nature and stuff, you tend to imagine it as a female hence mother nature um but then when i looked up a quick like image search of the captain planet they showed mother gaia which is another character in the show and she was a lady so it's like i guess captain planet doesn't have to be a lady now <laughs> since they have gaia in here um but i still made a more effeminate version and definitely a much slimmer like not hulking masculine version of a uh, captain planet um just because like i don't know it was just a like having a big huge muscular man <laughs> as a mascot for saving the planet felt kind of weird um but anyway, so I kind of went for a more, uh, well I said effeminate, but I was actually trying to go for an androgynous kind of look. Kind of like, um, Haruka, I think that's her name, or Haruko from Sailor Moon. Um, that could be the wrong name, but it's Sailor Uranus which is the blonde one with the short hair who dresses up as a guy or is or like I think they think she's a she's a guy I don't know I'm I'm not caught up on my Sailor Moon knowledge but anyway so the character in the middle is Mati and um in the original cartoon show him and the girl 
who represents water. Um, they have basically the same haircut. So when I was drawing them in this, um, I tried to make sure they had different haircuts. So his is a uh, more, I don't want to say ragged looking, but choppy-ish looking so that it looks more boyish and um, I was probably drawing from like Mowgli, the little boy in the jungle book. Um, and then this character right here is a character who has the power of the wind. And in the original cartoon show, her hair is like big and teased <clears throat> and wavy. And I felt like in these times, it's probably more stylish to have your hair straightened. So that's what I went with. I was probably thinking of Ari- well, I was. I was kind of thinking about Ariana Grande as I was drawing her. Not that I'm a big fan, but it's just a fashion influence, I guess. Um, but I also wanted to- I wanted to make sure I kept her tall. Like in the uh, original cartoon, I think one of the boys made fun of her for being tall. Um, so yeah. That's what I went with. Oh, and the reason they're all posed kind of like funny is be well not funny, but the reason they all have their little poses is because I wanted to try and incorporate some sign language into the piece just to add like some extra finesse <laughs> and um yeah so each of the characters are I mean it's kind of hard because sign language involves movement which you can't necessarily capture in a still image but I tried my best. So each of the characters, um, I imagine that if there was a reboot, um, they would do their little thing as, cause you know how in Sailor Moon, they announce what they're doing. They announce their power and then do something with it. I imagine if this were rebooted, they'd call out, you know, their element, perform the sign language for it, and then raise their hand to like summon Captain Planet. <laughs> That's my image for the show right now, if there was one. Anyways, I skipped over some stuff because the, uh, my recording program dinked out on me. But, so I think overall this image took like 12 to 14 hours, um, just because there were so many characters in one. I think this is the most characters I've done in one image. But, um, I completely changed Captain Planet's superhero costume because having it completely red didn't really make sense to me except for- except to contrast against his green hair, which is in this day and age kind of a lazy choice. Um, also, I decided to add an element of individuality to each of the characters. I gave them all their own logo on their t-shirt for their elements. Just because I thought it'd be cool. <laughs> um, and Mati's element is actually um, heart. So there's earth, water, wind, fire, and then Mati is heart. And that's why I drew him in the center because um, that's, in my opinion, the most important part to like promote is caring for the planet. So he's in the center and his logo actually, I used a rainbow um, because to me, um, one of the things that represent the most compassion to me is um, the LGBTQ um, movement. Um, and it kind of strikes close- I mean, it does strike close to home because 
my younger siblings are gay. So that's why I wanted to include the LGBTQ flag in there. But um, yeah, so moving on. Um, I had issues with Gaia's hair because I wanted to update it again for like modern times. Again, in the old cartoon, it's just big and teased and wavy. Um, and I wanted something more flowy um, and eventually wound up with what I'm doing right now. Which I'm pretty satisfied with. I kind of was thinking of... Sh uh... Shiro's hair from No Game No Life and like one other character kind of <laughs> Princess Bubblegum and Marceline those who, who are who I was thinking of for the hair even though like none of their hair looks like the hair that I drew here um, other than that Mother Guy is pretty much the same I made her, I tried to make her, yeah, I made her brown, um, because why not? Oh, because the earth is brown, I guess. Um, and I just, I decided to make her robe greenish. I was thinking of making it white, but then I was like, no, nah, let's add some green for more earthiness and mother naturiness. Um, and I colored the line art for um, for Captain Planet and Gaia so that the lines weren't so harsh and so that they looked like they'd kind of be glowing because they're not reg they're not people, they're like I don't think they're gods either, but They are... <laughs> I don't know. I was thinking of the word celestial beings. Which, I mean, technically the Earth is a... I think planets are referred to as heavenly bodies. So, that's what I was going for. So that, And so that they'd look shiny. Um, and the way I highlighted her hair, I wanted her hair to kind of look more like water um, without being see-through. So, I think I did a good job. I made Gaia's eyes and Captain Planet's eyes both red um, to contrast. Well, because the Earth's core is really hot. So, I'm just guessing it's red. There's lava there, I think. Um, I wanted to give Gaia some makeup at first because I think the guy in the show has lip wears lipstick. Um, but then I thought it looked like too much, so I decided to go with a natural color for her lips. And I think it wound up better that way. And we're coloring, and we're coloring. I tried to make Captain Planet's hair um, I don't know. I was going for something that wasn't necessarily masculine and wasn't necessarily feminine either. And I think I did okay. Um... I think I talked about... I don't remember if I talked about his costume. No! But for Captain Planet's costume, um, so the original costume was only red, and I didn't like that, so I changed it completely. Um, 
I wanted his logo to represent a blue planet, so his so that's why I made his chest white. The chest part of the costume white. Um, and I just incorporated more blue, green, and yellow in it so that it doesn't look like Captain America y if I just kept it red, white, and blue. Because I wanted to use red as an accent color. Um, and now I'm just highlighting all the characters' hair here. Um, and then in the original show, they all wore vests. Which I guess was cool, like logically they'd probably be wearing vests in today's age too, but I wanted something without vests. So they're just wearing t-shirts with their Elements logos on them. And they're all wearing khaki. Um, the fire person is wearing pants. Khaki pants, because in the original one he wore long denim jeans. So... But yeah, and then I gave Earth locks because I think locks are cool when they're done right. Although my sister says that it's hard to tell that they're locks because they're so small. But that's okay. I didn't add any details to their rings. I just kept them gold just because they're so small in this image. They're not really given a lot of... Um, attention so it wasn't worth it to add anything although in the original show they each had a gemstone in it that was the color of their you know element which i tried to represent in their character um design like water's hair actually yeah water's hair is Purple. I think her ring is purple too, even though it's water because wind was already blue. Anyways, I went and added um, rainbowy watercolor in the background to help emphasize the fact that Gaia and Captain Planet are like celestial beings. So I think it wound up kind of pretty and it helped them stand out a lot more. Anyway, so here's the final image. Let me know what you think, if you've ever watched Captain Planet, and if you'd want to see a reboot, how do you think it would go? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!